Hi guys, Adam here for Full Time Devils. We're in the MCH Stadium where Manchester United have been beaten by Mitch Island 2-1 despite taking the lead in the first half through Memphis. Disappointing performance again by Manchester United. It's a performance that, you know, leaves you asking so many different questions, but ultimately all the answers fall down to the manager and it's the manager's fault why Manchester United haven't got a result today. And to be fair, Mitch Island, with all due respect to them, I know this is a team that have just beat us 2-1, but we should have been beating them. They were there for the taking, and Manchester United didn't have enough thrust in their attacks. We didn't have anything. We didn't look like we wanted to score, um, and it just wasn't good enough from Manchester United today. Um, why didn't we attack with enough verve, you know, get the, quick, get the speed in our play, take the game to this team? Because if we would have got a goal early, I know we got the first goal, but if... If we would have played against them properly and attacked them properly, then there wouldn't have been no coming back for them. But ultimately, we've lost again against a team that we should be beating. And that's been the big problem for Louis van Gaal at Manchester United. In the big games, we've done all right. But against the smaller teams, we just can't beat them. We're too... We played here today, like we're playing against Bayern Munich or something. And we say this all the time. Why are we playing like that? Why are we playing like we're in a semi-final against Real Madrid and we're away from home looking to just keep it tight and get a draw and take them back to Old Trafford. It's absolute crap, let's be honest. And as I said at the start of my review, all the questions have to be asked about the manager. Now, I'm a big fan of Louis van Gaal. Um, well, not at the moment, but when he came to Manchester United, I was delighted to see him come to Manchester United. When he was going through bad times, I was happy to see him given time. But what you've got to ask yourself is if Yes, he's here to build in the long term, yes. But ultimately, the short term results have to be right. And in the short term, we've not done it. In the last few months, we've lost games at home in the Premier League that we should be winning. If we win two or three of them, we need a top of the league. At home, at, away from home against Mitch Jylan. We have to beat this lot. Why aren't we doing it? I don't care about injuries. I don't care if David De Gea was injured. I don't care if Wayne Rooney was injured. I don't care if we've got 14 players injured. We should have beat this lot. We had a decent team out there today. Carry Carrera, Schneiderlin even come on. Then you've got Memphis, Martial, Lingard up top with Mate in behind them. These are players that should be scoring goals, creating gate, creating chances and having some fun out there. But we just didn't do it. You know, I hate to go back to it. But under Sir Alex Ferguson, this would have been a game where we would have just took it to them. First half, 3-4-0, second half, see it out. N never happened again. And as I've said before, the questions have to be asked about the manager. I don't think, as much as I like Louis van Gaal, I don't think he's the manager to take us forward anymore. Um, and you've got to ask then, if you're going to stick with him to the end of the season, what's the point? Because short term, the results haven't been good enough. Yes, you can say, oh, he's building, he's building something. But then, after... His, his contract's for three years, he's looking to retire soon. So if the short-term results ain't right and he's not going to be here for three, four, five seasons, then what is the point? Because he's just not getting results and it's just not right for Manchester United at the moment. Players are playing within themselves and it's not good enough. Um, yeah, that's all i got to say, really. I'm absolutely gutted because I've been fully behind that man and um, we've been let down yet again. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. I haven't got a man of the match. I don't care about United's performance today. All I know is that United should be beating this team. Comment below, subscribe, like, share. See you later.